there are just some occasions that are special in sport. Roger Federer playing tennis, Brazil playing football, New Zealand coming to town, and what a test match we have ahead. The conditions are perfect, the crowd is filing in and it's filling up but we hope that we're going to have a real atmosphere and a ding-dong match ahead of us. Advantage, that's rolling. Ireland penalised for not getting away from the ball. Build the advantage. An advantage to the All Blacks. Here's Carter. He can try anything. Kano, yeah, yeah. the man who receives the ball. Still Again, Ireland up quickly to make green. the tackles. Advantage again. And the referee is going to go all the way back for the first infringement and offer New Zealand a penalty. Oh, sheer class from Carter. Sheer class. That never wavers. And Dan Carter with two from two gives New Zealand a six points to three lead. Here's Hig Elliott. And again, out wide to Woodcock. And the prop forward makes good ground. Ireland look to rob it, not many there from New Zealand at the breakdown, and it's handed over to Brian O'Driscoll and Donegal O'Callaghan, who straightens it, isolated a little, Richie McCall hits them hard, but will come back for a penalty to Ireland. He struck it well, whatever Dan Carter had done, Johnny Sexton has been able to do also. New Zealand though, just five metres short in the referee, puts a hand out to signal advantage and a penalty coming for the New Zealanders. Little kick through, doesn't come off. Come off. Oh, again, never in doubt from the moment it left his boot. That's nine on the night for Dan Carter, 11 points short of the world's points record held by Johnny Wilkinson. Redden sees the ball again, the crowd says there might be something on here. Jamie Heaston, two, Stephen Ferris! It's a try for Ireland! Ferris over, Heaston the provider, and what about that for a roar around the Aviva Stadium? Five metres short, big hit. And he's there! He's there, Anthony Boric sticks out a long arm when it looks like there was nothing on. And it's a try for New Zealand, and it's like someone let the air out of the tyres. Carter again, looks to see what's out wide. Manonu once more, here's Jerome Kano. Kano and Ferris, and there's the offload, terrific offload, Reed for New Zealand. And Ireland's defenders scattered like skittles as Kieran Reid goes in and that's his fifth international try an ominous sign from the All Blacks Redden with the box kick, Ferris the chaser under it is Corey Jane does well, Corey Jane Ferris definitely struggling as New Zealand through Jose Gear look ominous once more and into the 22 and McCall and out wide is a substitute white lock, surely that pass was forward. Over goes the second row. The try is given. And well, in terms of spotting forward passes, Marius Jonker and his officiating party have got the blinkers on. O'Driscoll, Sexton attacks the line. How wide is Carney? Rob Carney back in. Has got a hand. Oh, Trisco, what a pickup! What a pickup! But did it go forward? Was it knocked off? Carney first with a break and an offload that he just couldn't reach. But look at this. Only he can manage that. Yes. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant by O'Driscoll. That is a and fantastic yes, individual yeah. try. And what no more try. than Ireland yeah. deserved, given what's gone in the last six or seven minutes. Here's Carter. Mulyaina. They've met out wide. Here's Reed. Simply fantastic, the All Blacks. You can do nothing but admire. The final score at the Aviva Stadium, Ireland 18, New Zealand 38.